I told them and I said, didn't you go to University of Texas? I didn't go to Texas. But the fact that they they saw, they were like, oh yeah, I went to Texas, did you? No, but I just, I, it, it was, but that ability, my, my aunt did, and I just said that my aunt did, and then we started to talk about Texas football, which is what I liked, and I knew that person played football there, and I was able to make a connection, and then they're off the elevator, but that being said, I still was able to connect the dot there, and then from that point forward, they looked at me differently. You can't second guess the moment. Everyone gets one first impression, so if you are the person who puts yourself out there first, and you're not afraid of that, that awkwardness, that moment, and even if someone doesn't receive you the well, it's okay. There are so many people in the world who will not vibe with you, and that is totally fine, but I, am, I was never afraid of that. So I would say just put yourself out there and try to find out a piece of information about anyone around you or anyone that you're about to meet with that can connect with you, and I promise you it'll, it'll eventually work itself out. But it, also, you, what did you have to lose? The worst yeah. thing he could say is, no, thank you, and walk yeah. away. And it's not gonna... be, you'll be a robot. The one, the one thing I would add to that, I think all that is absolutely correct. I think as you are identifying the, the, the person that you want to connect with and have as a mentor, I think step one, though, is you have to decide where you want to be, what path you're on. You have to really look around and say, where do I want to be five years? 15 years from now, and is that person doing that? Are they living the way I see myself living, doing the things that I want to be doing at that time? I think is the best way to identify who then you should look to. It's also about your opinion. I think as a creative person, whether you do long form, short form, film, digital, any kind of content, if you're a creative person and you have a point of view, foster your opinion, know what you think, and think for yourself. And if you can state that, and you can put it out there, there's no such thing as a wrong opinion, but it's about finding where your opinion matches. So it's not only finding a mentor, but finding a mentor that will be meaningful in your life. Mm -hmm. And I think oftentimes, I encounter people who are looking for mentors or for help or assistance, but they don't quite know what they think about things yet. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for me to figure out how to can reach them and connect with them. And obviously from the mentor side, you want to feel like you're making a difference and you want to feel like you're bringing them along the path. And if they don't, if they don't know what the path is, it's hard to invest in a relationship. So I tell a lot of people who are trying to break into development in any way, know what you think, and most importantly, know how you're heard. Because if you can, if you have an opinion, you know how to, you know how to express it. Yeah, 